Hey guys, Blue Commander here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I've created 15 guns into Minecraft Java Edition for 1.14 of Minecraft. This also comes with two new melee weapons and two new explosives, not to mention the guns are completely customizable with an easy to use in-game chat menu. I even got people to come on the server and test and fight me with them. This is just a data pack and a resource pack, so this doesn't require any mods. If you're unfamiliar with data packs, make sure you watch till the end as I'll have the installation steps there. Also an important note, I didn't make any of the gun models in this video. All I did was give them functionality. Sadly though, I started this project back last December and I came back to it after having it sitting in my unreleased projects folder for a long time. And now I've come back, I unfortunately can't find the creators of these gun models. So I'm really sorry if you're the creator, feel free to message me with proof and I'll be sure to credit you again. So really sorry about that. But anyway, let's get into the video. So as I said guys, all of these guns can be completely customized and by that I mean you can choose the bullet speed, you can choose how long it takes for the bullet to fall to the ground, how long it takes to reload, how much ammo is in each clip, the minimum delay between shots, whether the gun can have a scope, how many bullets come out per shot, how much damage bullets do, and whether bullets shoot straight or randomly. So as you can see, there's a lot of options. But first I want to show you what the defaults are for each gun, and then in a moment I'll show you how to edit them yourself. Okay guys, so basically right now I'm on a server. We've got 4 Xcraft, Kruta, the Netherlander, and Michael with two Qs. So these guys have joined my Discord server, and we're going to test out some of the guns. So I'm just going to go through all of them one at a time. So first we've got the pump shotgun, we've got the magnum, hunting rifle, AK-47 and AR-15. I'll start with these ones. So first of all, if I run over to someone, it doesn't work with long distance because it's a shotgun. But as you can tell, it is a lot of damage when you're nearby. Okay, so that's the first one. So as you can see, it doesn't shoot very far, but you know, it's really strong when you're near it. So the next one we got is the Magnum. So this one, it shoots fairly fast and reloads fast and it's got four clip damage. Apologies in advance if I've been quite inaccurate with my gun designs. Like I've no know much about guns, so you might find that quite a lot of these guns are inaccurate and they don't represent what they're like in real life. So apologize if that's the case and you feel free to correct me in the comments. But yeah, that's how I kind of thought I'd just make these guns. But as you can see, it's not really a big problem because at the end of the day, you can edit the guns anyway. So, you know, if there's a mistake, you can just fix it yourself. So next we've got the hunting rifle. This one, you can sneak to shift. That's one of the settings. And if I, okay, he's hiding. There we go. We got him. If I try to get some other people. Okay, it's quite hard to aim if they're moving, but... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Kruta. If I try to get this guy... Come on. Oh. I'm so bad. <laughs> also, I wanted to quickly mention while editing this video, sorry about the frame rate at times. Sometimes it's a little bit slow. My PC does suck after all. But luckily though, I have bought a new gaming PC. Soon, it'll arrive hopefully. So then I'll hopefully have flawless frames. Anyway, back to the video. Next we've got the AK-47, so this one I can kind of spam a little bit. Oh no, they've got, no, they've got diamond swords now. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, slight problem. <laughs> no. And as you can see, they've also got different reload times, so there's quite a lot of different settings you can control. Okay, I'm gonna shot this guy on this guy. No, he's gonna kill me, no. Okay, so I really like the AK-47, it's really fun to play around with. <laughs> well done to 4 x Graf for killing me. I need to avenge him, where is he? I don't know, he's here. <laughs> no, no, someone else is gonna kill me. Okay, we've got him. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna avenge. Two hours later. So the next one is the AR-15, this one. It's kind of just like a medium shot speed, quite a long reload, but it does a lot of damage as well. Oh no, I'm getting overrun. I have to use my... 
Which one should I use? AK-47, quick. Oh, that failed me. Next, got the this one, this one, this one, this one. So, first of all, we've got the SSG-08 slash. So if I get a bit of a distance, it's a bit of a sniper one. So if I look away and I go... There we go. Kill them. <laughs> I'm so bad at aiming, I swear. But you get the idea. So this one has got quite a long reload time as well. Oh, this one. It's going well. Oh, no, I missed. Come on, I've got a revenge. No. <laughs> so, yeah, next we've got the Heaven Guard. This one. It's got quite a long break between shots. So, it's a bit like a... Okay, it's just a bit of an average gun in general. Next, we've got the AWP. This one is... Kind of like a... Oh no. There we go, we got him. So the AWP's kind of like a sniper in a way, but you can't use the scope. So it's quite hard, but it does a lot of damage, so it's kind of worth it if you can land a shot. Next we've got the M4A4. This one shoots a lot of bullets very fast, so... Oh no. Okay. So yeah. And then... As you can see, if I unselect it while reloading and I go back to it, it will restart the reload process. So it works in the way you'd expect as well. There you go. So I really like this one too. It has a lot of bullets. So we've also got the P90. So this one, as you can see, hopefully... <laughs> These guys are too good for me. Uh, so this one has got six clip and it also does like a... Like an average amount, I'd say. There you go, we're gone. And as you can see, it all works in multiplayer, so you guys are fully able to play with your friends and things. I did quite a lot of bug testing to get it working, so hopefully you have come into no problems, but let me know if you do. So we've also got the pistol. This one is quite fast. And you know, it's kind of all around at close distance, but quite far away. As you can see, different bullets have different rates till they start dropping. So as you can see, if I shoot this, it falls down pretty fast. Whereas snipers go for a long time. So that's another setting you can control. You can also control how many bullets come out. You can control lots of different things. I'll show you in a second. Okay, there we go. So next, we've also got the Glock. <laughs> this one shoot. Okay, see if I can get him. I doubt I'll be able to get him because, as I said, it's only a close range gun. Okay, we missed. Okay, then we've got the... This one. I don't know. I'm not even going to try to pronounce its name. This one you can zoom. And it also does triple shots. So you can also control how many bullets come out per piece at the bottom here. So yeah, that's that. We've also got a crossbow which does, goes really fast, has one piece of ammo and also does a ton of damage. So hopefully we can kill our... No, I'm so bad with aiming. I should have got these guys to showcase the guns, I'm so bad. It requires quite a lot of accuracy, so, you know, if you don't find success straight away, it's something you can practice at. Another thing to mention is while you sneak, yeah, that's how you scope, so that's how you zoom in. And you can't move while you do it. Oh, there we go. And finally, the last gun before I show you the weapons is we've got Sideways Pistol. This one's a bit of a mean one. It does a lot of damage, but it shoots in a random direction. So you can also control whether it shoots straight or a random direction. This is useful for making things like shotguns, which as you saw, that's the first one I showcased. Did a lot of damage and close distance, and it also shot four bullets, which went in random directions. So yeah, that's these. And then finally, let's show off some of the knives, the clubs, and these things. So as you can see, we've got a knife and a club. These both do the same, there's different skins. So as you can see, if I try to hit these guys, it literally two hits them. So it's really OP. So that's that. We can also use a smoke bomb, which I'll check on the screen what it does now. I'll show their perspective. And finally, we've also got grenades. 
which deal a lot of damage and also you can control whether they destroy terrain or not by doing mob griefing. So if I set this to mob griefing to false and I go over this hill so I don't destroy our map, if I throw some of these, okay, sorry, mob griefing to true is what you want. So if I turn these on, as you can see it's now making holes in the ground, but we don't want that so I'll turn that off, mob griefing false. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, now I think we're going to do a little match and see who's the best. Okay guys, so we're about to do a gun game match of about three or four of us, I'd say. I think Michael's AFK, but that's fine. So we've all chosen two guns. All our guns are different. So I've chosen the pump shotgun. Uh, I also chose the magnum. And we all got one grenade and one flashbang. All this stuff I, I'm not allowed to use. Okay, so let's go. Oh no. Okay, we got one. So on the side, as you can see, it's storing all of our deaths, so hopefully we don't die too many times. Oh no, I want to die. I spoke way too soon. Okay, we've got one, we've got one. Oh, this guy has chosen a good spot. Who's this? The Netherlander. Can I get this guy from here with my gun, or is my gun... Oh, he got me. <laughs> okay, good. well done. Um, okay, so... Maybe I should throw my... Oh, he's actually got a good sniping position right now. Maybe we should take him out. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going to try to take him out. Oh, no. No, he got me. Okay, see if I can kill this guy. Please, please, behind him, behind him. Yeah, okay, I got him. Wait, oh, I don't know who got him. Throw my grenade. Oh, no. <laughs> I basically killed myself there. Okay, there we go. Let's go. I'll quickly show you what the smoke bomb looks like. This is what it looks like. As you can see, come on, hide, take some cover. I've got to take out this guy. Okay, I need to try to break through here. We can again. Yes, yes, we took him out. Oh no, and then I just died. All right, that's fine. Okay, I landed my grenade on. That's good. That's good. Who's hiding in here? Yes, 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 yes. No, he's got. He's got a sniper. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. He's taken out. Oh no! Up here. <laughs> oh no, I had to reload, that's bad. Maybe I can throw a grenade over there. Yes, we just about throw over. Maybe we can get him. Okay, let's go <laughs> let's go clean up. Oh, okay. Okay, one more life, one more life. This is my last chance. Last chance. If I die, it's over. Okay, okay, okay. Quick, quick, quick. I can't mess this up. I can't mess this up. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we got him. Okay, that's one down. <laughs> oh no, there's a wall. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, it's over. It's over. Oh, we, we got him. We're still alive. <laughs> How are we still doing this? Okay, I need to get up. I need to get out of here. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm being shot, am I? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> he's been sniping the whole time. I was wondering where you... Okay. Okay, good game. Good game. Okay, guys. So let's quickly go through how you edit the guns. So if you type slash reload, once you've done that, You've also got this option to get guns. If I click that, I get them, of course. And I've also got this option to click to edit guns. So if I click this, it opens this menu right here, as you can see. And every single one, I can go to page two, and it shows the rest of the guns here. And how I edit one, say I want to edit the Heaven Guard, for example. That's this one I'm holding right now. So if I click edit on Heaven Guard, it's going to come up with every single one of its statistics. So that's its block speed, its gravity time, its reload time, its clip ammo, its shot cooldown, its scope, 
the bullets which come out in what per ammo shot, the bullet damage, and the bullet direction. So that's all the things you can edit. So I'll quickly go through these. So bullet speed is in blocks per second. So this can be as fast as you want. I can change this to 10, for example. And as you can see, when you type it in, it updates the menu. So now if I shoot, as you can see, my gun is really fast. But as you can see, it's now dropping a lot faster. That's because gravity time basically depends upon block speed. So that will fall about 10 times faster than one, which is one block per second. Whereas if I make this like 200 and now shoot, as you can see, it's gonna go to the very end. So it's not completely ticks, uh, but yeah, you understand. So reload time is 30 ticks uh, for this gun by default. If I edit this, reload time, I can make this uh, zero, like one, and then it's gonna reload basically instantly. As you can see right there, I got it back straight away. Or you can make this at large, like 50 or 100 or whatever. If you don't know, 20 ticks is in a second, just to bear that in mind. So clip ammo, that's the amount, obviously, as you can see, out of seven. So I can change this to like 20, for example. And now if I reload this gun, once I empty it, it's now gonna be 20 out of 20. What else do we have? We also got shot cooldown. So as you can see, I've got a one second gap between each shot, even if I spam my mouse. Whereas if I make this like zero, for example, I can just shoot in for it. So next off, we have the scope. So if I quickly turn on the scope option for this gun, as you can see, now when I sneak, it zooms me in. So a pretty simple thing, but it helps with the long range guns. I'll turn that back off again. We've also got bullet count. So this one's kind of hard to understand, but the best way to understand it is, as you can see right now, the delay between shots is zero ticks, but there's still a bit of a gap between shots, as you can see. So how you fix this is you can actually do something called bullet count. So this is the amount of bullets which come out your gun per point in your ammo clip here. So if I set this to two for example, it now looks a lot faster if got bullets coming out. This is also useful for making things like shotguns. So as you can see in the pump shotgun I made, it has four bullets come out. And also what it uses is this option here called bullet direction. So you can make this non-straight. So it's either straight or dispersed, which means basically random direction. So now as you can see these bullets are going completely random. So it doesn't really work for this gun, but for shotguns that's really useful I think. And also finally we've got this bullet damage. So this is between zero and three. Zero being absolutely no damage and three being the most damage. So yeah, that's basically how you edit guns. And then when you're finished, you can just press return and close and you can, you know, play along with your guns. So now let me quickly show you how to install it. What you want to do is click the link in the description of this video. That'll take you to my website. On there you'll find two download buttons. If you press the grey one first to download the resource pack and then you press the orange one to download the data pack. Once you've downloaded both of those two items you want to press single player. You want to click on the worlds you want to add the guns to and then press edit and then you want to press this open worlds folder button. Once you've done that you want to open the data packs folder and then drag in the ones just named guns, not the one with any of these like weird squiggly lines, just the one which says guns, all in lowercase. Go back into your options, open your resource packs folder, press open resource pack folder, and then you want to drag in the other download into this folder here. Then you can go back into your game, press done, then reopen resource packs, select the resource pack like so, press done, let it load and then log into the worlds you want to play on. And then once you're ready, type slash reload. If it's been downloaded successfully, you'll see a message in chat and you're free to go. You can collect and edit the guns in the menu, which you get when you do slash reload. However, if you lose that menu, you can either type slash reload again, or you can type slash function space, and then you can do guns colon get guns to receive all the guns or you can do guns colon edit guns to open the menu so everyone i hope you all enjoyed this video for a long time on my channel my most viewed video has been my first ever video i made about three years ago now and it was about particle guns <laughs> unfortunately that was also my worst video i've ever made so i thought i'd try to redeem myself to those who were disappointed back then and expected real guns i know guns are a touchy subject right now and I really hope I haven't offended anyone by this. 
I am in no way promoting the use of guns in real life. I just thought it might be fun to use them in Minecraft. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for spending some time here with me today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Listen.